Hi, I'm Paul Jolly, and today we're going to talk about Facebook strategies. Okay, so what we need to do is first set up a Facebook page. Very simple, we need a logo, a banner, the about us, um, the contact details, the address, email address, and everything else. And we put that all on the Facebook page, a banner, a nice about us, and make it look professional. And then the second thing we need is some posts. So about your product or your service. And we need regular posts because your Facebook page is like a newspaper. And if you're not in it, you don't exist. So you need some regular adverts or content going into the Facebook page. So we create maybe 30 different posts and put it into an automation tool and, and repeat it every month or every two months, the content and space it out. So you've got regular content going into the Facebook page. So when people check out your brand and look at the page, you can see it's active and content, regular content is going in. So you can use an automation tool for this, as many on the market, and you just set up a whole calendar with everything going in and slowly, slowly going into your Facebook page, whether it's every day or two times a week or whatever you decide. Next thing we need for social proofing is some likes some people coming on. So I suggest between two to 10,000 page likes. And to get them likes, there's a cheap way to do it. You target the world and the non-English speaking world. You do a campaign and target the world with a simple likes campaign. And I can show you how to do that if you click up above. With that, it'll cost about one cent per like and those likes you can convert into followers and 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 that will cost you between 20 bucks and 100 bucks not a huge expense but now your page is social proof because the posts apart from time they haven't cost you any money so you've spent about 100 bucks so far and the page is looking a brand page a social proof page now we want our target audience. So now, for example, we're gonna target the USA and we'll do another likes campaign and target the USA. And now this cost is considerably higher, anything from one cent to $2 per like. So we have to watch this very carefully and, and our budget and how much we're gonna spend to get our target customers to like our page. So once we've got that and we've done our social proofing, we want to create some contextual posts. Now these posts are to certain personas. So for example, if I want to sell this pen, I have to think about who would be a potential purchaser of the pen. So for example, maybe a secretary. We can target these people in our campaign for specific products within our brand. So maybe we have maybe nine different personas and of those nine different personas, it depends in our target country where they are because we can do geo-targeting as well. So for example, we can say to a secretary, when we write the advertisement, we can put in the copy exactly to target her. So say something about secretarial and say something about in Miami or something else. So it's more contextual. And then in the post, we have the links and everything to the web page, and we have a contextual post. And this we need to monitor very carefully because the return on an investment is this is very critical. And this is where we spend our ad money. This is the strategy for Facebook. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to click the bell. I'm not sure why it is, this one. And follow me on the next one. Thank you very much.